Good morning. Good morning. Actually, good. Almost good afternoon. It's a, it's currently 11:15. Today is March 8th on a Tuesday, and I'm dealing with this sick girl right here. It's like a domino effect with these kids. You know, last week, well, not to not pretty much last week. No, DJ was sick. Then it turned into a stomach bug. Every time I go back to school now, Olivia got it. I'm just, I'm tired. Been up since three o'clock this morning. I should have started filming then. But I thought I was gonna go back to sleep for an hour. But no, somebody had to keep getting up and throwing up and all that. So she haven't ate nothing all day. I haven't ate anything all day. The other kids ate cereal and stuff like that for breakfast. But I'm gonna have to go to the store in a few. But she can't have nothing to eat because she can't. She's throwing up water right now. So I gave her some throw up medicine and all that. But other than that, your girl's currently working on editing a video that I posted, been posted since the last week. I'm trying to pick up this camera and continue to vlog. I'm trying to get back with this vlogging thing, but it's kind of hard when you got sick children and you're the only person that edited the video. And you're the only person that put all the music and trying to put up there and post thumbnails and all that. It takes a toll on you. And going live. When your child is sick, that's a no for me either because we constantly running back and forth to the bathroom like she got to get up now. What's wrong? You all right? Stomach. Your stomach still hurt? Uh-huh. You got to throw up? Mm-mm. You got to poop? Mm-mm. Oh, well, yeah. I'm dealing with this. So, instead of me going live today, I'm just going to edit this video, upload it and vlog for today from i'm gonna try my best to vlog for y'all thank y'all for still supporting your girl regardless how many times i upload within a week you know when your kids are sick your kids come first that's how it goes but now we back to work if she don't knock my my computer down she keep moving but i talk to y'all later right now she is laying down sleeping i gotta wash pillowcases and i gotta wash this sheet Right now I'm gonna go wash my blanket because she threw up on that and she threw up on the side of the bed. You okay, Mama? Mm -hmm. You still hurting? As long as you ain't throwing up, I'm scared to give you something right now because I know you're gonna throw it up. But um, in the next hour or two, we're gonna try some food, okay? Yeah. You don't wanna eat? Yeah. Okay, you ain't gotta eat, but you gotta drink some water. Get you some Gatorade and stuff from the store. <sighs> Alright y'all, it's currently 5.38 in the afternoon. My husband just got for work and he about, to, he about to go back to work. In a few, I just came to Walmart to get a few things for my daughter and myself. Whatever they got going on with their bodies, I feel like they gave it to me. Cause your girl was feeling nausea, about to get ready to throw up earlier. So I took one of my kids throw up pills to prevent, to prevent me from throwing up. And it worked cause my chest was like feeling weird. Heart was racing and felt like I had to throw it up. So I ate something and then I waited a little while and I took that throw up pill called Odestino, whatever it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So that's working on me right now. I'm about to go inside this Walmart and it's raining out here. It's been hot since Sunday and Monday. Now it's extremely cold. I had left my jacket in the car overnight and my window was down and it got rained on. So I can't put my jacket on to go inside the store. If it ain't one thing, it's another, you know what I'm saying? So right now I'm about to get out this parking lot because I don't have much time to sit here on the camera and talk to y'all. I can talk to y'all when I get home and show y'all what I have. All right, y'all, I'm back home. I had came home and brought all this stuff in. Myself and my son had took all the stuff out and he stacked it real, real neat for y'all. <laughs> but um, I ended up spending about $208 all together and $5 on these cups. But we get into the prices in the later. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. I got two things of Thomas bagels. I got the original and I have the blueberry kind. I got a bag of onions. I got two of these packages of John Morel bacon. I remember these used to be two dollars, and now they four dollars a pack. I got two cases of these Canada Dry. I got two of these Great Value sliced bread. They still ninety eight cent. They used to be eight eight cent. Now they ninety eight cent. I got some Velveeta cheese. 
I got like six packages of the brown gravy. I got some buttery round baked crackers. They was out of the Ritz crackers. So it's a lot of people that's out there is sick. So there was no Ritz crackers on, on the shelf. But they did have the club crackers. But I think the Ritz crackers is better when you have the flu and the stomach bug or whatever. And I also got some um, regular saltine crackers somewhere in this area. I got to find it. I got some oatmeal cream pies for the kiddos. I got a box of fudge rounds for the kiddos. I got two boxes of red beans and rice, Xanaris. You know, it's probably we're gonna eat to No, we're gonna eat um, some innovation tonight. I got I brought a box of Fruit Loops marshmallow kind. It's a new new kind for the kids. But I think they had this before, but it's a different cereal brand. But this is what I got for the children. I got a bag of Caesar salad for myself. I got a bag of blueberries, you know, to make my smoothie. I got a box of bomb pop for the kiddos, the Hawaiian punch kind. I got 12 in this one. And I also got the value pack of bomb pops. I got 24 in this one for the kids. Especially, it'd be good if they run a fever and stuff like that. That's where I got it from. I bought a pack of down home smoked sausages. And here goes the saltine crackers that I got for the kids as well. I bought a pack of white forks and spoons because I'm tired of washing dishes. But I still managed to do them anyway. I got four packs of these ground beef, a pound a piece. Um, they was kind of slacking in the ground beef area too as well. So I got four of these and I left two behind. I should have took all of them. I got a pack of chicken breast strips. I got two boxes of these family size orange chicken by Innovation. The kids like that with some side of rice and some green beans. That's what we're going to, something quick and easy meal for tonight. I got two different kinds of Gatorade. I got the white kind and the orange for the, for Olivia. And I got two Tropicana orange juices, calcium with a side of milk, a whole milk. And I got three cans of these chicken and dumpling soup. These are good. And I got three cans of these progressive fat and free chicken noodle soup. I got a container of the cheap mayo whipped dressing from Great Value Time. I got some on the border salsa from We Make Tacos. And I got some spicy and herb, Tony Saturn seasoning. I got some tomato ketchup. Two boxes of the Krusty's honey cornbread. Some El Paso sand, 10 shells, you know the sand and stuff regular because they didn't have the Dorito kind that I usually get. I got some Philadelphia blueberry cream cheese for my bagels in the morning. I got some Country Cock original butter. Packets for the kids. Instead of getting them juices and sodas, you could just put this. It's got 30 sticks in the pack for like $4. Um, got grape, orange, and strawberry. I bought these to put in their water if they want something flavored water. I got some Smucker's Goober strawberry peanut butter jelly sandwiches to make Peanut butter jelly sandwiches for lunch. I got the strawberry and I have the grape as well. Bam. I got two containers of the quick five minute grits. Oh, when I say the jasmine rice at Walmart, it's now $20. The big bag for a five pound. I said the devil is a lie. So we got the great value kind, the long grain and rich rice, which is way cheaper than the what we usually get we like the jasmine rice but jasmine rice went up so we're not getting it um we got eight flour tortillas for burritos i also got these what is it called perrettes peppers pepperidge form i don't know that's french vanilla and this look good i, I want to try it and taste it i got one thing of bell pepper for the enchiladas i also got some mild taco seasoning i also have some onion powder and excuse my table because the kids was over here painting nails and stuff and i think that's about it and i got i think i showed y'all this already and i got some foam cups 50 you know don't want to wash dishes as usual and i bought me some dr pepper cherry soda and i don't need it but i'm gonna drink it tonight i, I got him putting helping me putting all the stuff up in the refrigerator i'm about to get ready to cook dinner first i gotta check on olivia to see if she's doing okay um trying to get her something to drink because after a certain while, throwing up, throwing up, you're not supposed to have anything to drink or eat, according to what the doctor said with DJ last time. But it's, I think she's ready to drink something now. Hopefully, it can stay on her stomach. 
But let me go check on her and then I come back and we just go ahead and start cooking. Okay. But that was 200 some dollars would get you at Walmart. I need to find a different location to shop for groceries from now on. Because baby, that costs too much. Too much. The food prices is going up literally. And some stuff wasn't, wasn't even on the shelf. The cheap stuff that I usually get for my household. So that should tell you something. So you better go start shopping now. Start stocking up. Get your rice, your beans, your canned goods and stuff. I'm not done shopping. I'm be doing the same thing. I did buy a pack of rice. Even though I got rice in my in the cabinets as we speak. So I ain't playing no games. All right. But I'm going to go check on Olivia. My new found snack, honey. These are so freaking good. Yeah. It's so, it's so creamy, wafery type snack. To some of these. So good. They got the chocolate kind too. They are so good. Olivia is doing good. She's been drinking water and she's been drinking some Gatorade. So she's doing good. Now I'm about to cook the other kids something to eat. And I'm gonna try to feed her some soup if she's up to it, okay? But let me go ahead and fix them some dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 